Trax and Slash appears to be one of those RC cars that's just going to live on forever. And for good reason, this is a great entry level truck. It's a truck that hobby stores use as rental cars. It's a truck that racers use as a spec racer. And if you do ever break it, you could find parts just about anywhere for it and tons of options. Now over the years, Traxxas has given us a number of variations of this truck and a few updates along the way. And this is one of the recent updates, the BL2S version. And that's what we're gonna go over today. We're gonna talk about why this truck is so special and I'm gonna show you the updates. The Traxxas Slash is a ready to run short course truck and the body has pretty much remained unchanged over the years. They've given us different colors and different graphics and it still looks really good. Now one of the major changes they made to the BL2S version is they've given this truck clipless body mounts and this is something a lot of people are excited about because you don't have to lose those little body clips when you're going and changing the battery or doing some sort of maintenance on it. it makes it really easy to access. Now the body is available in a number of different colors in this latest version. I really like this red version that we got, but you can see the clipless body mounts. They're just little plastic covers now on the top of the body. And what you have to do is you reach your hand into the wheel well, you pop the clip and it will go and release the body. It's pretty easy to do. And if you do have an older slash model and you want to upgrade to this newer clip system, you'll be able to do that. They do have a full upgrade kit that even gives you some masking tape to go and cut out the different holes. But it's nice to see they made this update to this truck. The chassis on this truck has pretty much remained unchanged. It's a high center gravity chassis, which means it's gonna lean in the corners and give you that short course truck racing feel to it. It has nerf wings on the side to support the battery. There's some bracing underneath that goes down to the skids just to make this a solid overall chassis. You'll see the steering cranks are mounted to the front lower plate. And this model comes with adjustable steering tie rods. The truck still has oil-filled shocks for damping front and rear. This has the revised upper caps on there. However, with this latest BL2S version, I kind of wish they gave us the aluminum caps that a lot of people upgrade to, but the suspension arms are nice and bulky. On the outside front, there's caster blocks and steering knuckles that we've seen before, 12 millimeter hexes, and then in the rear, solid H arms with composite hub carriers. But the shocks feel nice and plush out of the box, just like always. And again, they have adjustable tie rods throughout. So you can go and adjust camber if you want to, if you're taking this thing spec racing. Now on all four corners, you're gonna find the BF Goodrich tires. I like these tires a lot better than the standard tires that they've given us before. These things hook up pretty well. Onto the transmission. I was a little surprised to see we have the standard Traxxas transmission in here. Inside there are metal gears. It's got a planetary gear differential and it does have the Revo spec slipper clutch, which is always awesome to see. From the transmission, they have the telescoping drive shafts and the entire transmission is supported by ball bearings. For the electronics, you guys saw while I was unboxing it, it comes with the TQ radio. It also comes with the 2075 steering servo, which has a servo saver on it. The electronics are waterproof and they do include a waterproof receiver box. But here's the big change, the BL2S system. It's a 2S LiPo battery system. You could also run nickel metal hydride packs. It's got their signature blue case to it, large heat sink on top. It has a trainer mode function in it and it has this neat connector that goes down to the new BL2S motor. This is a 33 300 kV motor and requires next to no maintenance. You just take this thing out and you drive it. And that's what we need to do right now. I'm going right for some track fun with the BL2S guys. I'm here at Galley Mods Raceway in Baldwin Place, New York. And it's a small track, a lot of left-hand turns, well, all left-hand turns, but it's a good mix of dirt and turf. And I think that's two surfaces this truck is gonna see a lot of, but I'm just gonna have some fun laps with it. Take it off the big jump, major air, whoa, overshot the landing a little bit. The surface is actually a little slick because it was frozen this morning and it's thawing out right now. But I'm just gonna do a little throttle management here. And I instantly noticed that this BL2S system is more powerful than the uh, brush system that was in here. The throttle just seems much more responsive with this system. And again, it's a 2S system. You can't run 3S on this. That's when you want to jump up to the VXL model. Off the jump, 
hit the brake <laughs> into the landing and through this slick corner here through the ripple jumps just love the body roll in this thing it looks so much like a real short course truck around the big sweeping corner wanted to go off the jump this time just change it up a little bit down the back straight punch the throttle figured out that you got to land on the top side of that lander jump there you don't want to land on the back side of it because that's just too much air for this truck but these trucks are just really fun to drive that's part of the reason why they use them for spec racing you know one it's a durable truck and two you got to drive it and three it's it's got all the necessary stuff in it for spec racing and i think this new bl2s system is really going to catch on for spec This latest version is pretty cool. I, I like the BL2S system. This is, I think, the third truck I've driven now within it. The new clipless body system, absolutely awesome. I like that this truck has the adjustable tire rods on it and the better BF Goodrich tires. This slash platform, I think, is just gonna be around forever. So I wound up driving the BL2S on a racetrack, but you could drive this thing pretty much anywhere. You could go in your driveway, you could find a dirt lot. Construction lots are absolutely awesome for ripping this thing around in, but it's nice and quick out of the box. As I mentioned, I like the throttle response to it. Just love the way these trucks drive with the lean in the corner. It just looks so realistic. Goes off the jumps really well. You still get a little bit of air under the body and that can cause the front to rise up and that, that may result in a crash, but the truck steers well out of the box. Again, I really like the tires on this truck. I would just say when you're going out to drive it, use a little bit of throttle management just so it doesn't whip around on you. It is two wheel drive, so you don't have those front wheels driving for you, but this truck will make you an awesome driver. This new system that they have in here just extends the life of this truck. This platform is obviously proven. I don't see it going anywhere. You're just gonna be able to enjoy it for a really long time.